This morning, the Austin Chamber of Commerce, along with the LGBT Chamber, officially threw their support behind bringing Major League Soccer to Austin. But the question of where the stadium would go is still causing controversy. Fox 7 Austin's Casey Claiborne live from downtown Austin with that. Wearing scarves of green, representatives from the Austin Chamber of Commerce and the Austin LGBT Chamber of Commerce held a press conference Friday morning, cheering on the possibility of Austin's first major league sports team. I'm sure many of you know a lot about soccer, but what you may not know, it is the most inclusive sport in the world. The Austin Chamber's Rudy Garza says if the Columbus Crew soccer team came to town, it would bring a thousand jobs with it. Working the concessions, the uh, folks at security, and, and working the ticket booth. But outside of that, we've got other jobs. We've got electricians, plumbers, painters. Caitlin Swartz played for Austin's Lone Star Soccer Club and then continued in college. You can go anywhere to any park in the city and you'll see people playing soccer any time of day or night. Um, and I think especially for young people, having role models that show you know, what hard work and dedication can get you in life is really important. Butler Shores was pre-court sports venture's top choice to build a stadium. But due to the public outcry, they took it off the list. Now the team is looking at the other options, like Roy G. Guerrero Park, which also led to a public outcry during the press conference. Any, any questions? I want to call a foul here today. I'm with the okay. community and I want to make it clear we like soccer, but we do not want it on public land because the truth is when this stadium comes to town, who is going to benefit? The white community, the business community will benefit. You're looking at Roy Guerrero Park. That is a park won by the Latino community. Austinites against using parkland for a stadium protested outside of the chamber. To bring in a private venture like this is only going to put more pressure on the area and possibly add fuel to the fire of displacement. Recently, Councilmember Pio Renteria told Fox 7 he was in favor of at least having a discussion about putting the stadium at Guerrero because there is severe erosion there and maybe the team could help pay to fix it. That might be a win-win for our community, especially, especially in my district. And the city staff made it clear that they are already in the process of fixing the erosion. Um, so um, I'm not sure how putting a stadium near the erosion is going to make it better. I mean, part of the problem is uh, that we didn't plan for, for the development in a way to prevent the erosion from occurring. So um, I, I just don't follow the logic there. Some of the other city suggested options for a stadium, Michaela Place near the Domain in North Austin and Walnut Creek Sports Complex. The parkland discussion is technically still on next week's council agenda, but there's been a request by Parks and Rec to postpone it. So TBA on the future of soccer in Austin. Back to you.